What an amazing car this is. My personal, I've got one of these, I love them. Now this is the Range Rover Westminster Black Edition. Based off the Vogue really, this is a 71 registration, like new, remainder of the manufacturer's warranty, 3,000 miles on in this beautiful metallic black, cracking specification and it looks incredible. But what I love about this, this is the new engine, the D300, the six cylinder inline engine, which has got 300 horsepower, drive, unbelievable when i say super luxurious that's what i mean it just eats the road you don't feel a thing tremendous today with the life pricing this car is 93.990 but the best part is it's physical it's here it's available how long for is another question but the car is stunning because you can't physically get one not for months and months and then trying to get one with the westminster which is a special edition and with the black edition it just ticks every single box this is a fabulous car. I'm going to show you some of the controls because it has so much on them and I can't spend 45 minutes telling you, but I'll just try as much as I can and just some of the key features. The first thing is you have got adaptive LED lighting in this one. You have got the LED daytime running lights and then the Westminster Black Edition means that all the badging and all the trims are finished in high gloss black. So the car has been fully de-chromed like the badge, the grills, the inserts. So. Front and rear parking sensors, obviously, car like this big, it's, you need it. Headlight washers, lots of ground clearance. Amazing look from every single angle. As you come round the side, part of the Westminster Black Edition is you get them wheels, which is the 22 inch upgraded, and they look stunning. They look absolutely brilliant. And you know what? And I've said this before, and even on my personal car, sometimes I thought, will 22 inch alloys change the ride quality? Absolutely not nothing at all it still drives like a dream and i mean it just floats you don't feel any bumps on the road nothing in this one and like the vogues and, and vogue se and autobiography you have the different drive modes you put this car in dynamic mode you know what it stiffens the steering the acceleration it just it makes it feel a bit more sportier but the comfort mode is absolutely brilliant it's a, such a comfortable car because of the design the, the build quality the seats and everything else about this car it is just amazing all the wheels are in perfect condition. The bodywork is like brand new. The car's a 71 registration vehicle, so it is like a new car. The black, Westminster Black Edition also gives you the side atlases and the side sills down there, all in black. Now, if this wasn't a black car, this would stand out more. So if this was a blue or silver or gray, you would see that more, but this is fully stealthed out. So it has a sporty look to it, whilst it's still very luxurious. The side steps are an extra. They are fixed side steps. You've got the sun protection glass again, the A pillar, the B pillar and the C pillar is all finished in black, same as the roof. Now the Westminster Black Edition gives you the tilt and sliding panoramic roof. So I've lifted it up so you can see that's tilted, press it again and it slides all the way back. You have got double glazed windows and you've also got comfort access. Comfort access means that when you walk up to the car it unlocks and as you walk away you press that, it locks for you and the windmill is fold in. You've also got soft closed doors. So you don't need to slam the doors. It's a nice expensive car, treat it with respect and it won't break. It's lovely, it's absolutely magnificent. And then you've got this beautiful, lovely black, very soft sort of lounge effect interior, the, the seat. You can just tell by looking at something. It's super crisp because it's like new, but everything's black. You've then got the grand veneer black interior inlays. Ambient lighting, which is the door pockets, the door cards, the center dash, open the B pillars, the dual screen, touch screen, media and climate. And if you just look over here very quickly, because the controls are very easy to use. And what I like about having the switches for the seat on the door cards is that it's all at your fingertips. You don't have to scratch your hand or scratch the car, trying to use it at the side of the, the seats like most cars do. So this one's for the backrest. That one's for your headrest. You can lift your headrest up and down. That one's for the base of the seat, so you can go forwards and backwards. And see this little section? That extends the base, so you can have an extended base. It literally extends it forwards and backwards, so if you have long legs, short legs. And then that's for your lumbar support. So this is a knobbly bit here. It's like having a couple of cushions behind you. Or if you twist it, it sort of tightens the lumbar support here. So if you're like me, nice slim build, you can really make it tight so you don't fall out the seat when you go on corners, if you do give it some on corners. You've then got the Meridian sound system, so the extra speakers. And if you look up here, in a normal Vogue, you want, or Vogue SE, you won't see the speakers up there. So it has a better quality speaker system in this one, which is brilliant. Black leather, black dash, split dash. And then you've got the bottom dash there. 
The roof lining, if you come a bit closer, you might notice that this is um, Alcantara. So again, it just feels super rich. So when I say this car's luxurious, I mean exactly that. It's super luxurious, full of gadget and gizmos, but it's the way it drives. These seats, you just can't get any more comfortable. You've got your own individual armrest on it as well. You can travel for hours and hours and get out and still feel super fresh. It's, it's fabulous, absolutely amazing. Let me turn it back on again. So soft closed doors I've mentioned. As you come around the back, first thing I want to show you is the lighting, it works. But you've also got reclining rear seats. Now don't get me wrong, they don't recline anywhere near as much as the front seats, but to show you, it makes enough of an impact if you're doing a long journey, it makes a difference. You've got heated seats in the back, I'll quickly jump in and show you the other side. So your rear passengers have their own heated seats and they've got their own climate control as well. And they can do that from this little control here, dead easy, when it's turned on. They've got their own outputs there, USCs now, because that's changed now from USBs to USCs. Fully fitted matte front and rear. Pocket holes there for magazines, etc. The lighting is around here in the footwells, in the pockets, and also in the B pillars up there. Now, if there's only two passengers in the back, they've got this. I have no muscles. I have no muscles, seriously, that's better. They have their own cup holders, a small cubby hole space there, and it's just a nice relaxing area because them seats in the back, like the front, equally are super, super comfortable. You just, it just feels amazing. But the whole feel factor of this car, from the quality of the door shutting, the quality of the lever, the perforated, the design, I love it. With it being a 71 red, it's like buying a new car. Going back to the Westminster black, you've got the rear trim there, which is black, the rear badging is in black, reversing camera with reversing parking sensors. Now the tail lights are all LED, big squares, nice, just so you can spot them and butt. It again, finish the way the car looks. You've got the signature Range Rover built lid, which splits in half, well, in two pieces. And you can sit on this, no problem at all. A very spacious boot with the tonneau cover and underneath on this one you have got the spare wheel there as well. Now to open the boot you can use the key, you can press the button on the back of the boot lid or press the button in the car. When you press this, that lifts up, that closes, job is brilliant. If you go down a little bit you'll notice on this one, because on the Vogue and Vogue you see, you don't see this big exhaust fascias. And they're huge. If you go down a bit lower, you can see how big the pieces are. Don't get me wrong, it's in your face here, and the exhaust pipe behind is a little bit smaller, but it's all about aesthetics, isn't it? And it looks brilliant. No dents, no scratches, obviously. With the whole black styling, it looks brilliant. You have got lane departure. As I get in here, you've then got this lovely area. You've got a full digital dashboard. You can configure all that. I've left it with the, the dual dials there. Heated steering wheel, cruise control, limiter, stereo controls, Bluetooth controls, and you've also got voice control as well. Panel shift, armored headlights, armored window wipers, the lever dash at the top there. Over here, you have two keys, twin cup holders, and a phone holder. This little section, you can put your business cards in there. But that lovely grand veneer finish on there, black veneer even. If you slide this cup holder section, you've then got a nice little hide out there. It's massive, this little area. And this is a nice little touch because that's where you get the Westminster Black Edition. You get a fridge. Oh, refrigerator, call it what you want. More USB in there as well. The electric adjusted steering wheel. The reversing camera and the gearbox is so easy to use. So when you put in reverse, the camera comes on automatically. It's very clear. You can have guidelines or you can remove them. N for neutral, D for drive, and then dip it down and flick it for S for sport. P for park. Now this little button here, when you press that, it pops up as well. That's your different drive modes, so you can have, like, or well, you can go on the car, vehicle. You've got e well, dynamic, for example, which is that one. That's a sporty ride. It literally does tighten everything. But then you've got eco, you've got sand, you've got rain, you've got different drive modes, rocks, crawl as well, do what you want. Heated seats, you can press that button there, turn them on, and that's the three levels, really hot, hot or warm. Same there, or you can do the back ones if you wish to. Turn them on and turn on for the guys in the back. Your climate control, again, pick and choose where you want the air to blow. In your face, up in the air, or down to your feet. You can pick the rear ones as well. So you can literally configure the full car from here. Normal settings and your 
media settings such as Apple CarPlay. Everyone's asking about Apple CarPlay these days. Web browser, and this car also has the digital TV. Now the TV can only be watched when you're stationary for safety reasons, obviously. So if you're sat in a car park or a supermarket and you're waiting for your other half to get out or whatever it is, you can just sit there and keep yourself busy. Valet mode on there, eco data. The ambient lighting has different colors. At the minute, I've left it on blue because if you have watched my videos, blue is my favorite color. But you can change the colors depending on what you fancy, what sort of mood you're in. This has to be... I don't want to say it's the best Vogue we've had because we've had loads, and we had loads and loads. But this certainly is, for me, a Westminster Black Edition with a new D300 engine on a 71 registration. And currently, when you can't buy them, it's a case of, well, what do you do? And whilst at 93.9, I know you might think, oh, yeah, well, this is £3,000 more than what I want to spend. But were you looking at one with the refrigerator, tilt and sliding panoramic roof, the 22-inch alloys, the full black styling pack? The answer is probably not. So if you're going to get one, you might as well get one that ticks all the boxes. And it doesn't get much better than this. My name's Joe. My name and number's on the bottom of the screen. Give me a call, drop me a text or WhatsApp, and I'm more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.